Amoebas truly are mind-boggling creatures. They crawl by flowing like a liquid. They are naked or dressed. They float like a Death Star. And they are tiny building masters. Not only are we surrounded by them, amoebas are defending our bodies also in this very moment. Welcome to the fascinating world of amoebas. But what are amoebas? They are microscopic. While our human body is made up by billions of cells, amoebas are microbes consisting only of one single cell. Their size ranges between micrometers, about the size of a human blood cell, to several millimeters in size. Recently, amoebas with monstrous sizes measuring many centimeters have been found at the bottom of the ocean. But I'm sorry, I didn't get my submarine in time, so we'll keep this one for another video. Amoebas are unicellular organisms. There are many different types of other unicellular microbes, like for example bacteria, yeast, algae, and ciliates. They come in many different forms and shapes and have adapted to almost every possible environment on the planet. Okay, but what sets amoebas apart from these other unicellular organisms? What makes them special? They are shapeshifters. Amoeba is a Greek word meaning to change or to alter. The name is very fitting indeed. Amoebas are masters of vagueness. While all the other organisms we mentioned before, including most of our cells making up our bodies, are trapped in a more or less defined shape, amoebas can change their cell into almost any form they want it to be. Amoebas are indeed shapeshifters. They are a bit like a real-life version of the Star Trek character Odo from the show Deep Space Nine. They can create a temporary limb if they need to move, a so-called pseudopod. They can also transform the cell into a mouth if they want to eat. Yes, they turn their entire self into a microscopic giant mouth. Just look at this beautiful fellow here. This amoeba is chasing a bacteria and almost manages to catch it. It forms a mouth by trying to flow around its prey, engulfing it as a whole. But then, just remains there, with open mouth, seemingly baffled when the bacteria manages to escape, like somebody played a cookie prank. But eventually, the amoeba nom, prevails. Nom, 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 nom. Our white blood cells defend us from disease by gobbling up pathogens, exactly like this. You're looking at a drop of blood, magnified by thousand times. The red vibrating discs are red blood cells, brim with oxygen. They are the reason we breathe. Look closely now. In the center of the screen, a white blood cell is on the prowl. Can you see how similar it is to the amoebas we have seen so far? An army of billions of these amoeba soldiers are keeping you safe in every moment of your life, preventing you getting sick, cleaning up your bloodstream. Keep up the good job, fellow. Dismissed. Amoebas move by flowing like a liquid. I'm sure you have already noticed their movement while looking at the footage. Their shape-shifting abilities allows most amoebas to crawl or rather flow slowly over surfaces. This is called amoebid movement. Flowing like a living tsunami is definitely the most defining feature of amoebas. But it is far more complex than that. While most amoebas crawl on substrates, there are also amoebas that swim or float. We will get to these in a moment. To understand amoebid movement a little better, let's have a look at an amoeba species that builds houses from sand grains. Yeah, this amoeba here has no brain and no nerves and yet manages to build a house from scratch with sand grains, something that not even snails are capable of. All amoebas without a shell are considered naked amoebas. It's time for some hot tentacle action. This amoeba shapes its cell into tentacles that stick out from underneath its house. In order to move, it attaches a tentacle to the surface and pulls itself towards the point of attachment. On the surface of the tentacle itself, it creates something like microscopic suction pads that it can actuate and release as it wants. Oh, and I should mention, these amoebas can detach their tentacle from their body and reattach it, 
Look at this. The tentacle is almost completely detached and is only connected to the cell by a single string. The amoeba pulls it back and the detached limb reattaches seamlessly. Pretty wild, right? Amoebas come in many forms. Like in every weird family, also amoebas have a member that is even weirder. Meet the heliozoans, or sun animals. They resemble indeed a star, more a death star, to be frank. The rays coming off are called axiopods, keeping them afloat and allowing them to feed. They are the analog of the pseudopod we have seen in the naked amoebas. They float through water and hunt other microbes, but also microanimals like rotifers or tardigrades. This massive heliozoan feasted on some rotifers. You can see it clearly on the shells in its center. Rotifers are microanimals consisting of thousands of cells. So one cell just ate a thousand cells with one gulp. Pretty mind-blowing to think about that. Okay, let's recap a moment. Amoebas are fascinating microscopic creatures, living almost everywhere, even in us. They are shapeshifters and change the shape of their cells according to their needs. There are amoebas that even build houses from microscopic sand grains. The most prominent members of the amoeba family crawl with a flowing motion, but there are also amoebas that float and look like a star. I hope this basic knowledge about amoebas made you curious. It's time for you to look at them with your own microscope. Even a cheap one will do. There is still a lot to say and we barely scratched the surface of the amoeba world. Expect more videos like this to come. So let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious. Thank you for watching. See you the next time. Bye bye. Please listen carefully.